The economic trends for men have turned downwards along four dimensions. One is wages. Most men today earn less than most men did in 1979. Mm. In employment, with a drop in labor force participation of eight percentage points, which means nine million men now of prime age are not working. Wow. We've seen a drop in occupational stature. And so there are now more men working in employment areas which are seen as lower status than they were in the past. And we've also seen a drop in the acquisition of skills, the kinds of skills and education that boys and men need. If boys don't get educated and men don't get skilled, they will struggle in the labor market. And across all of those domains, we've seen a downwards turn for men in the last four or five decades. And so the way in which social class divides have opened up, economic inequality has widened, is really important to understand in the context of gender inequality. If we only focus on gender gaps, then we miss the fact that both men and women at the top have done increasingly well, but that's much less true of everybody else. And especially it's less true of those from lower income backgrounds, working class boys and men and black boys and men. You see many of those trends are amplified. And so those boys and men are really at the sharpest end of many of the social and economic changes. On the one hand, we have a huge and successful and laudable effort to get more women into STEM jobs. So science, technology, engineering, and math. On the other side, we have what I call heel jobs. So that's health, education, administration, and literacy. Almost, if you like, the opposite side of the coin to STEM jobs. And that's where a lot of the jobs are coming from. Health and education alone are huge and growing sectors in the US. And so by my estimates, for every one job we're going to create in STEM between now and 2030, we're going to create three in heel jobs. Mm. But those jobs are at least as gender segregated as STEM jobs, but in the other direction. Mm. And unlike STEM, becoming more so over time. So if you look at the heel sector, only 24% of the workers in those sectors are male. Yeah. And that number is falling. Wow. And in particular sectors, we're seeing a really precipitous drop in the number of men. We have a drop in the number of male teachers. We have mm -hmm. a very sharp drop in the number of male psychologists. That's dropped from 39% male to 29% male in the last decade alone. And among psychologists under the age of 30, only 5% are male. So wow. we roll that forward and we're going to see psychology becoming essentially almost an all-female profession. So these jobs, which are both crucial, I think, for society and where it'd be very useful to have more diversity are actually becoming more gender segregated. And so we have absolutely no effort to get more men into heel jobs, mm -hmm. which is where I think the future lies and where we should be helping men to move.